Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur. Today I'm with Chris in his garage and we're working on his beautiful 991.1 turbo. And what's the subject? Of course, it's carbon fiber. Let's go check it out. All right, Chris, tell us about what we're doing today. So today we're gonna be installing the door panel uh, carbon fiber pieces. Um, I've been kind of excited about doing this video with James partially because I've got a lot of inquiries on Instagram through social media about what do you do if you want to change your full carbon fiber interior. Um, if you were to order the car from factory, you're going to get, you'd get the center console piece, you'd get the trim piece, and then you'd get these door panel pieces. Well, the problem is, is Porsche doesn't sell um, just that door panel piece. It's not an easy trim piece to replace just like the um, other center console or the trim. Um, it's actually integrated into the door panel. So the door, so if you wanted to replace it OEM, you literally have to replace the entire door panel from Porsche. Now with the full leather, like what I have, you're looking at $3,500 per panel. So, I mean, you're talking to just to replace those two pieces, seven grand, which is absurd. Um, so found this company, um, obviously DB Carbon, amazing company out there in Germany. They make uh, awesome products. They have this essentially a very thin strip of carbon fiber that actually overlays right over top of your existing, um, that door panel piece. So that's what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna show showcase it, get my thoughts, um, how does it look, how well does it match up, I mean, and let's just see how they uh, look. So it's a, uh, you know, seven grand versus 400 bucks, so we'll see. So as you can see, I mean, these are a really thin piece of carbon fiber. Um, so, and they essentially, there's a 3A or 3M strip that, you know, will peel off and they just essentially just line up right over it. And they just, just like that. And if you look at, I mean, just from this visual right now, it almost looks perfect. You couldn't even tell that there was an aluminum piece there. Is there a difference, Chris, between the OEM carbon fiber and, and what you're getting here from DB? No. Um, and I actually, there's, DB actually offers several different options for carbon fiber. Um, and I ordered the, uh, like the, I think you call it the 0% OEM matching. So you can see, I mean, it matches perfectly to these OEM. And this is OEM from Porsche. Yeah. Um, and you could, you can't tell the difference. You really at all. can't. It, it's identical. No. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then so here's the um, the current aluminum. Is it brushed nickel or aluminum or it's whatever? It's aluminum. It's the it's the standard interior on the turbo. In the leather door panel. Now taking off the door panel isn't too difficult, but the fact that this is just an overlay, that's that's really cool. Yeah. And, and just hold it up in place again and just show us just how close it's gonna be. Yeah, look at that. You never know that that wasn't from the factory. I mean, how easy is that? There it is. They don't call him carbon fiber Chris for nothing. That looks so good. It's seamless. Yeah. It's just perfect. Oh, that goes so well with that interior. Of course you're going to clean it straight away. Yeah, I'll take all the fingerprints off of it. Liquid gloss from MA Carbon. Very good. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Yeah. So let's just take a little look at Chris's interior. So we've got the carbon fiber strip here. We've got the carbon fiber trim uh, across the dash and the carbon fiber center console surround. And the shifter. Oh yeah, and the shifter. So while we're here, let's take a look at the rest of Chris's carbon fiber. We've got the air intakes here on the uh, 
you know, the, the turbo intakes here. And they're from the same company? Yeah, they're from Suncoast. Okay. Uh, and then here, this, I think this was my favorite bit. The tail, the wing, sorry. That's just beautiful. What's your favorite piece of carbon fiber trim? Hands down the wing. Is that it really? probably the most exciting. Once that piece came, it had to go on right away. Yeah. I, I know we were gonna wait to like do an install video, but I <laughs> came out of the box and was on the car in 30 minutes. What else do you think you might do with carbon fiber now? Well, we had talked about maybe replacing the, the door trim pieces, or I'm sorry, the... Uh, the sills. The, yeah, the sill, um, yeah, the kick plates. Um, little spendy to replace, because I have the illuminated version, so to do carbon fiber and a couple grand, it's that's maybe one. I would really like to maybe do something possibly a rear diffuser, mm -hmm. um, carbon fiber. I don't know what's really left. Yeah. I mean, I've kind of got everything that I'm pretty happy with everything at this point. It's now it's just kind of like, do I start just going down that rabbit hole of silly? Oh, you're already at the bottom of that <laughs> rabbit hole. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the little triangles. So talk, talk us through those. So I ordered these from um, MA Carbon in California. And they are the, so they took the AWE version of the um, wing dif uh, wind diffuser and made them carbon fiber for me. So they match those, uh, so they match the mirrors. That's gorgeous. So we got MA Carbon and they're based in the US. Yep. They're West California. Coast. Yep. And then we got DB Carbon. DB Carbon out of Germany. Out of Germany. And they have very similar product lines. Yes, um, DB Carbon's got a lot more, lot more products available for virtually every piece of the car. Um, you can pretty much get in carbon fiber. MA is a little bit more limited. Um, I think he kind of just replaces a lot of the, um, you know, you can get the some of the some of the uh, more kind of what would you call like OEM. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they both probably sponsor uh, Carbon Fiber Anonymous. Yes. <laughs> For people like you and me. Yes. Okay guys, so thanks for checking in for another Auto Amateur video. Let us know in the comments below, what would you do? Would you stick with the regular factory illuminated door sill there? Would you replace it with carbon fiber? And would you pop for several grand for the illuminated version? Or for a couple of hundred dollars, just regular carbon fiber, but then you'd lose the lighting. I don't know, it's a conundrum. Take care guys, see you in another video soon. Bye. <laughs>